Hi everyone and welcome back. We're about to head into episode 17 of Supernatural Season 2. Last episode, it was a bit of a sad episode. Imagine being a ghost for 15 years not realising that you died and then you finally see the person you love more than anything and they've aged and moved on. But I, it was sweet in the sadness. I am... I'm really looking forward to where this season is going. We're wrapping up very fast now. We're almost at the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> this first. <laughs> oh, this actress. This isn't working at all, is it? No. No, it's not me. Look, listen, I've had a couple. I shouldn't really drive. Could you just give me a look? I already called you again. Oh, she's on it. She's... Has he done this before? Uh-oh. Who's that? You okay? So it's gonna be werewolves. Who's... Is it the guy from the office? It is. Whoa! Oh! Come on, Doc. Off the record. Okay, way, way off the record. Sure. If I didn't know better, I'd say the guy was attacked by a wolf. Their bodies all washed up later in the bay, too deteriorated to draw firm conclusions. But no hearts. No hearts. They were all hookers working on his point. Now, cops are trying to keep things under wrap, but they're looking for a serial killer. And the we already know how to bring these suckers down. One of these bad boys right to the heart. What's our next move? Talk to the girl who found the body. Okay. Thanks for the casserole. Mm -hmm. Oh, how thoughtful. Just call up Kenny and anything. Well, he likes her. He's sweet. He came over to check on me. He had a few scotches in him and he started hitting on anyone in a five mile radius. You know the time. Hmm. Yeah, he's brother right there. <laughs> No, that was it. It was like he was watching me. Then he was gone. Is he in the house? Oh. Someone's watching you. Yeah. Outside last night, just looking. The creepy ex. I'm gonna hang here with the hot chick. Dude, why do you always get to hang out with the girls? Because I'm older. What? No, screw that. We settled this the old fashioned way. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. Is he going to develop feelings for her? Um. Really? Okay. Creepy sometimes. I saw that. So what? Okay, this is the deal. My house, my TV. So Kendall married Ethan's father just to get back at him? Yep. And now she's set to inherit all the casinos that were supposed to go to Ethan. What a bitch! Is this what Sarah Michelle Geller played <laughs> all those years ago? Because they said Kendall. No, no. Why are you single? What were you doing with Kurt? Oh. I mean, you don't really seem like the type. Yeah, well, some stuff happened. My life changed, I changed for the better, I think. What happened? Well, for one thing, I got mugged. Here we go. That's supposed to be a good thing. <laughs> I know. 
Doesn't everybody think that being a victim of random violence is the best thing that ever happened to them? <laughs> yeah, not so much. Not unless it changes you more than just in the way you You're speak about it. Unusual. I gotta let you go. I uh, I don't want to, I don't want to miss anything. That's a one dollar bill. Cheapskate. I knew it, see? Is he really going to fall for it? About a month ago. Did you see the guy? No. Grabbed me from behind. Did he bite you? How did she know that? I'll stay with her. And if she busts loose? Sam, I'll do it. Sam, I'll shoot her, alright? But I'm doing this. I'm trying to help you. I'm not gonna lie, all right? The odds aren't exactly in our favor. But there are. But there is still a chance. Right. Is it her next door neighbor? <laughs> it is her neighbor, yeah. Too late. Oh, what a way to transform back in your last moments of that. You know, for a stakeout, the car is a bit conspicuous. Yeah. What are you still doing here? Honestly, uh, we're pretty sure you're not going to turn tonight, but we got to be 100%, so. Hey, Sam. Hey, Here we go. Yeah, yeah, middle point. All right, hold on, Matty. We're coming to get you. Just stay where you are. We could lock you up at night, but when you bust out, some night you will. Someone else dies. We can find a way, all right? I can. I'm going to save you. I tried. I know you tried. This is all there is left. Sam. He knows. Please. I think he would be the, the best one to do it. It hurts, but it's rather someone she cares about. That was episode 17. I do wonder if it, um, does it link in to lowering Sam's guard for what's to come? We know he has to face either the Swampy Demon or fellow uh, people who had the same incident happen to them, like him as children, because that's why they've been captured or they've disappeared. Why they were being killed so that's got to come into play and i wonder if because of this it lowers his guard down because we don't get to see sam really interact with women in that way he's a lot more guarded especially because he thought he was going to end up with jessica and it didn't happen and it's really sad to see sam have to go through this and that's why i'm curious in that notion um 
definitely felt very charmed. What was interesting was how they did the werewolf or werewolves because more like the change of the eyes, uh, teeth and nails, but they didn't do the the stereotype with the full body fern, the change, you know, uh, like that. So that was that was interesting. I like where Supernatural sometimes goes with its lore. I'm not sure if I like the look of the werewolf, but I like the idea behind it. Now, I, I feel like, I don't know if this is supposed to be a standalone episode, but it is one of those things where so much is happening to both of them and it's pretty sad. I mean, we saw Dean cry. Dean's not really like that. But I guess when you watch your younger brother have a moment of happiness and once again it's snatched away, it does eat away at you as well. But he had to do, Sam had to do what he had to do. Because she couldn't stop what was happening to her, there is no reverse. But it was, it was quite intriguing that the story unfolded the way it did. So the, the ex-boyfriend really was just very stalkerish. But she was so put together, she was so confident. I didn't realize it was only a month. We have no idea who bit her. So it could have been her next door neighbor, but we have no way to tell. Thank you for watching, and I will be back next week with episode 18.